the Hindalco. Uh, and the performance there, what, what did you make of the numbers? Well, you know, for Hindalco, we already have bulk of their numbers in mm. terms of the uh, the EBITDA and the profitability mm. because Novelis's numbers come in there and that accounts for more than, uh, you know, approximately 70% approximately of their numbers. You have Novelis, uh, uh, the entire mm. entity, uh, and Alaris as well that uh, they had acquired. Mm. So to run you through the basic numbers, standalone entity revenue up by close to around 21%. We're looking at, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at the standalone numbers because consolidated includes Novelis. So that's why I just run that through. Margins marginally better, net profit as well as up. But the key numbers you look at for Hindalco when they deliver their India business is the three big numbers, aluminum, copper, and you look at the net debt number. Let's start off with aluminum first. You look at the upstream business, it's running at optimum level. So you don't expect any kind of growth or any kind of big volume fluctuation out there, percent up or percent down. But the number you look at is the upstream of beta, that's 2,075 crores. Then you look at the downstream as well. Now that's come off a little bit on a year in year basis. Uh, but you add both these two, that's the downstream and the upstream together, you get roughly around 2,240 crores. Now that's better than what Kotak was estimating. They were at around 1,800 crores, a couple of other brokerages were at around 1,950 to 2,000 crores. So with this number, you're talking about closer to 10% beat just on the aluminum business. Moving next to the copper business, well, that's done very, very well. I remember a few quarters ago, they had a couple of shutdowns and TCRC margins weren't great as well. But the copper business has delivered an EBITDA number of 650 crores odd. Kotak was estimating 590 crores. So in that context as well is good. So two of those numbers go down well. And the net debt number, you don't want it to balloon up. Remember, they have a big, uh, uh, you know, uh, CAPEX plan going ahead. And the net debt number on a sequential basis, well, that's down close to around 2%. So all in all, the three numbers that we have, Aluminium, copper, net debt number, tick, tick, tick. Novelist as well was a tick earlier this week, so these numbers go down as a good showing. Prakash Sivan joins us to help us out with quick analysis on that. Prakash, uh, uh, you know...